What is up, you guys? Jeremy from Pure Detail Co. back here again. And I know it's been a long time, actually like a month, I think. So sorry for the long wait. It's been a super busy month, which is great for me. Finally moved in the new shop. So things are great. Just not much time for video editing lately. However, today I have, I think it's a 2005 Toyota 4Runner, just an interior detail. And a big purpose for today's video is we're going to focus on something that I get asked about a lot. That's my favorite cleaning product, and that would be Super Clean. Now, I go back and forth between Super Clean and Meguiar's APC. Both are really good products. Can't go wrong with either one, but for most of my heavy duty cleaning, I'm always gonna use Super Clean, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. And before we go any further, as always, I want to remind you guys, if you enjoy my content, please do take a moment to give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me to grow my channel and keep feeding you guys new content on a regular basis. So as usual, I'm going to start the interior cleaning process with a good deep vacuum. Now it's time to try to breathe some life back into these floor mats. Now, there isn't much saving the driver's side floor mat in particular, but while staying within budget, we'll get it as best as we can. And for those of you wondering, at this particular time on the floor mats, and really throughout this whole process, I'm using Super Clean one to one. This is a pretty heavy duty cleaning. There are a lot of really deep old stains, so I definitely wanted to get a little more aggressive with this one. Thank you. 
So moving on to the seat extraction, you'll notice with most of these seats that there aren't a lot of really terrible dark stains. Most of these are just gonna be from normal wear over several years. And the owner is a CrossFit coach, so there's definitely some sweat in these seats.
just in case you're wondering, yes, I do end up doing the whole seat, but for video purposes, I usually don't film the whole thing just because the angles are kind of difficult and really it's usually a time thing, but I definitely extract the whole seat.
So guys, we're coming up on the end of the video now. And again, just want to thank you all for the continued support on the channel. Sorry that I haven't been able to post on a regular basis lately, but we're going to get back to it very soon. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.